Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Friday. It's the 24th of March, 2023. Going to look at the seventh race from Aqueduct, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. The seventh from Aqueduct, it is the Eastview Stakes. It's um, going for a purse of $100,000, race for three year old Philly state breads. Field of seven horses, going 1,200 meters or six furlongs on the Aqueduct main track. My top selection, I'm going to take the four horse Ma- Maple Leaf. Leaf Mel. Let's go 4762 in the Superfecta. 4762 Super. Top selection of four horse Maple Leaf Mel. Three hopefully by Crofts Traffic City. Um, Jeremiah Anglehart trains. Um, Joel Rosario comes into New York to ride this horse. The horse's most recent outing came on the slop at Saratoga, 26th of August, six and a half furlongs in the Seeking the Anti Stakes. And the horse won by three and three quarter lengths that day and basically dueled on the front end, broke on top. He quickened up nicely, sang some wicked fast fractions, and he went away with it. That was a very good run. He's coming here making the three year old campaign against not the world's toughest horses. I think the horse could really improve and run a good race. The workout in South Florida haven't been half bad at all. On debut, the horse ran the 10th of August at Saratoga. Uh, main special weight for state bred, six prongs at Saratoga. The horse went by five lengths and basically won for fun. He got easy fractions. He quickened up nice off of them. An all-around good, good race. It was bet into the ground. 70 cents a dollar on the, on the debut. And the sophomore uh, race, 60 cents a dollar. Today, he's going to be very bent to the ground. But he's been training well. Most recent workout, Palm Meadows, half mile, 41 uh, uh, and uh, three. 22nd best workout, 23. And half mile workout, 46 and, and uh, four. Um... Best workout of 13, so I think he's rearing to go. I like how they have the, the, the fast workout, the slow workout, fast workout, slow workout. I like that a lot. Uh, coming here today, I'm going to give this horse a shot. If he doesn't show up, though, I think the seven horse, um, Les Bon Temps, is your second likeliest winner. Most recently, the Maddie May last month here at Aqueduct over the mile. The horse finished second by one quarter lengths that day and then breaks so well, hit the gate going out of it. And, you know, he just wasn't staying the trip. Cutting back to six, if he sees a strong pace with Maple Leaf Mel in the front, if he you know, um, you know, loses it late. I think uh, Les Bon Temps could really pick up the pieces. Um, I like the win in the New York Stallions race back in December here on the mud, and I like the victory in the Made of Mist very, very nicely where he stalked a bit of a quick pace. Coming here today, I'll give him a shot on the ticket to possibly upset, but 5-2 is not really an upset, shall I say. Uh, but to recap my selection for the Aqueduct 7th race, it is the East View Stakes. Let's take the 4-horse Maple Leaf Mel. Give kudos to the 7-horse 4-7-6-2 Super. 4-7 in your multi-race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Race Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.